Hi, my name is Nicole Steen, and welcome to my brutal butt workout. We're going to be starting with some weights and some ankle weights. You're going to be leaving out of here on a gurney. We're going to do 15 minutes standing and 15 minutes on the floor. Let's get started. So first, let's warm it up. Go ahead, put those weights down to the side. Deep inhale. Exhale, we're gonna stretch out that body. Inhale. Yes, go ahead, roll it out. Forward. Loosen up the neck. Good job, you guys. Reach it over to the side, stretch out that side. Yes. Other way. Good. Now let's lunge it side to side, getting into those legs. There you go, hands on the floor. Hold it over here to the right. Press it up and down. Warming up the hamstrings, the hip flexors, quads. Give me four more. Three, two, hold it there. Open up that arm. Great, bring it down. Go ahead, side to side lunge. Hold it to the other side. Push it up and down. Yes, make sure your knee doesn't pass the toe. Give me four more. Three, two, and one. Open it up. Bring it down. Press it up. Walk it to the center. Give me a nice, deep, wide squat. Yes. Warming up the hip flexors right here. There you go. Four more. Three, two, hold it down, bounce it. Heels off the floor for more burning. Four, three, two, and slowly roll it up. Go ahead and stretch your back to the left. Other side, stretch it out. Give me some ins and outs right here, yes. In, push out, in, push out. Four, three, two, all the way up. Loosen it up, there you go. You're gonna feel all of this, your entire body, but mainly that booty. So let's get started. Grab your weights. You have the ankle weights on. So remember, this is going to be a brutal workout because you have two different things going on. If at any time you get tired, put the weights down and come back. So let's start with the mid stance. Rack up these weights, sit back in a squat and squeeze all the way back. You're pushing that booty back. We're just getting started, y'all. And if you like my workouts and you want me to go with you wherever you are, download the Jimra app and I'll be right in your back pocket. Let's do this, you're squeezing, yes. So remember on a squat, you always wanna push back, squeeze out the top. There you go. Abs are tight, belly in. So we're gonna change this up and give me a three, two, one squat. You go three, two, one, and squeeze. Three, two, one. Squeeze, yes. Get the glutes low, even with the knees. Pull your belly in to keep the back supported. You got it. Ah, oh, such a beautiful view outside. Just look at that when you start to feel the burn. Come on, three, two, one. You got it, three, two, one, yes. Two more, nice and low. Now, we have these ankle weights on, so let's use them with a squat front kick. Push. There you go. So, when you're doing a squat, think about sitting back, get the glutes involved, your quads are involved. When we do the kick, your quads are involved and your hamstrings as you press forward. 
That's right. I pretend like I'm at the World Cup, kicking that soccer ball. Woo! Let's get that goal. Let's get that win, team. Come on. Eight more. Seven. Six. Press it. Five. Come on. Give me four. Yes. Uh. Three. Two. And one. Now hold it down and bounce. Just bounce it here. Tiny pulses. Nice and low. Let's finish strong. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Come on. 4, stay low. 3, 2, just hold it. And release. Ah, shake it out. Great work. We're going to get into some curtsies. So you can roll it out. If at any time, you know, it's too much to put on your shoulders, hold it down here. So we're going to rock the weights back up. You're going to give me a curtsy with a bounce and two a kick like this. So you go one, two, three, kick. Yes. So remember on that curtsy, you want to make sure you get the knee behind the front heel. And if this is too much, you can give me a baby kick. Yes. But we're trying to get both the front leg, the front glute muscle of the leg that's not moving. And when we kick, we're getting the side of the leg that is moving. Yes. Those ankle weights make it more intense. You got it. Can you give me five more? Woo. I was tight. You're breathing. You're burning. I'm burning. <laughs> Come on. Two more. Whew. Last one. Yes. Shake it out. You should feel a little fire right here and also right here. So now let's switch sides so we can do it in all the same places. Here we go. Take it low. And up. So a lot of times when I teach this move, people turn the knee up. But guess what? That's not getting the quad like I just did. I mean, that's not getting the glute. We want to get the glute, not the quad so much. They're all connected, but our focus is the booty. Yes, come on. Nice and low. The lower you go, the harder you work. Whew. Keep pushing through. Stay strong. Great work, y'all. We're working it. We're getting to the finish line. Come on. Six. Five. Abs are always on. Yes. Four. They help you to balance on that one leg. Three. Two. One more. Yes. Oh, shake it out. Loosen it up. We got more lunges coming your way. This time I want you to give me a lateral lunge into a forward kick. So you're gonna go out to the side and press. The longer you step, the more work you're gonna get and the leg stepping out. Yes. Beautiful. Nice and controlled. If it's too much, you just want to do one at a time. You don't want to involve the ankles right now, the ankle weights. You could just be here. But if you're trying to get that brutal butt workout, you got to fully extend that leg for 10 more. Nine. Eight. Ooh, come on. Let's sit that booty back. Almost there. Looking good. I know you're working hard. Can you give me one more? There you go. Loosen it up. Let's go to the other side. Yes. Press it. Six. 
sit back in the hip. Come on, you have 10, nine, eight. Don't let the knee pass the tail, sit back. Work it out. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, great work. We're gonna go into some deadlifts. Okay, so because we have these ankle weights, we could do single legs. So go ahead and take your left leg back, my right. Tilt from the hips. Just get used to it right now before we actually lift. So you're tilting, you have a slight bend. Now, to get those ankle weights to work with you, lift the leg, balance, and squeeze. Tilt and squeeze. So it's not about how high you get the leg. It's about tilting from the hips with a slight bend for six more. Filling the stretch in the leg that's on the floor. That's the one getting the most work. The other leg is also working now because it has an ankle weight. So you're getting a double the pleasure, double the fun. One more, one more. Yes, squeeze. All right, take that other leg back. So the main thing is to find your balance. That's why I said your abs are always on. So find your sweet spot where you can find the balance and lift the leg right here if you're ready for it. Focus on something a few feet in front of you. Squeeze on the up. Reach for the floor. So you don't wanna look up into the TV or mirror when you're going down on these single leg deadlifts. You wanna look a few feet in front of you and then squeeze when you come up. It's all about the squeeze. Six. I know you've heard me say that before. Five. Four, yes. Keep that leg in the air turned down. Two. And one more. Amazing, shake it out. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and do some lateral, some forward and back lunges. So you're gonna take it forward, pull through and go back. Yes, right here. So both legs are working. As you step forward and back and lift that leg, you're getting more work in the booty. Yes, and if you need a step in the middle, you could do that as well for balance. Four. Give me three. Push off. All about the push off. Two. One more. Yes. Notice I'm giving a little bounce in the middle of that. All right, other side. So you go down. One, two, you push off. One, two, see how I did that? Don't just give me front and back. I need a little bounce. Yes. Whoo, there you go. Get the front thigh parallel to the floor for six more. Remember, you can always tap in the middle if you need a break from using those ankle weights. Come on, four. Let's do this. We're almost going to our floor routine. Yeah, I know you guys think it's gonna be easy, but it's not. It's brutal. Last one. Yes, shake it out. I just need 20 wide stance plie squat jumps. This is really gonna burn it out. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, come on, fight for it. Fight to the end, earn your break. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, hold it there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, and release. All right, you guys, go ahead and grab that mat. We're gonna take it to the floor. All right, now we're going to do some floor work. We're going to start with single leg bridges. So go ahead, take it to the floor, lie down on your back, and grab your weights. Now this is what's gonna make it harder than the normal single leg bridges we normally do. We have the weights and we're gonna put them in our lap. You can use one, two, or if you don't wanna use any, that's fine. Go ahead and take the leg up closest to me, the TV, and press up and down. Good. Single legs. So if the weight's ever too much for you, you don't have to use them. They're just giving you an extra push in your workout. There you go. And by having that ankle weight on, you're getting more work too on the leg that's in the air. Good. Four more. Three. Two. Go ahead, hold it out and bring it down. Take it up, out, and down. So now we're getting some lateral work as well as leg work on the leg on the floor. So give me six more. Yes. Five. Four. Three. Make sure you squeeze. One more, hold it up and just let it go out to the side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it in and release, good. Uh, go ahead, take those weights to the side. Get a little stretch because both of those legs were working this time. Uh, bring it in. All right, other side. So you know on the single leg bridges, it's always a leg on the floor that's getting the work, right? But because we have that ankle weight on, they're both getting work. You should feel this in the back of your hamstrings, your thighs, your hamstrings, your glute muscles right here. Should get nice and hard, your lower back. And the leg that's in the air is getting some extra work too. Squeeze on the up for six. Five, four, three, two. Now hold it up, take it out to the side and bring it down. Press up, side, and down. Let's go, eight, side, and down. Good, really squeeze those muscles. All the way up, side, breathe. Come on, three, two, and hold it out to the side, hold it out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold and release. Oh, good job, go ahead and shake it out, keep it here and just give me regular ones. The weight is like doing a hip thrust. When you see it in the gym with people with those big, heavy barbells on, this is helping you out right there. Air bridges are good as well, but when you have a weight, it just pops that booty out. We wanna make that booty pop. Eight more, let's go. Eight, seven, squeeze. Tap it, make sure it's nice and hard on every lift. Four, so you know it's real, right? <laughs> Two, hold it there, pulse, pulse, tiny pulses, pulse it, up, up. Come on, feel it. Are your glutes working? Yes, you have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it there, and release. Ooh, that was fun. Bring the knees in. Stretch it out, yes. All right, we're going to donkey kicks. So let's go ahead and take it over. Grab your weight, put it behind your knee. Hands go directly underneath your shoulders. 
you're gonna press it up and down. So, I like to put a weight behind my knee so that I can activate the hamstring. The ankle weight also gives you a little more burn and more intensity in the workout, which is amazing. So you're working a bunch of different muscles at once. And who doesn't want to do that? Get more for your money, right? Here we go. Four, three, two. Now you're gonna give me a three, two, one. You go one, two, three, and release. So you're giving me little, big, bigger, and down. Eight more, little, big, bigger. Push away from the floor. Good. Little, big, bigger. That's right, little, big, bigger. Ooh, that sweat's dripping off my nose. I'm feeling this. Four more. Three, two, last one. Hold it there and pulse it up. Now, if you're starting to feel this in your back, squeeze your abs more. Shouldn't feel in your back, you should feel it in your glute. You wanna really tighten up and also your hamstring holding that weight for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold and release. Now you're gonna give me cross and over. So you're gonna cross and to a fire hydrant. Cross, fire hydrant. Yes, that cross gets some tinier muscles in the glutes. You got it? Eight, seven, six, come on. Five, yes. Four, three, two, now, can you hold it up there? Singles, fire hydrants, up and down. Still holding that weight. If you're starting to feel something in the leg not moving, center your body by shifting to the leg that is moving. Eight, seven, six, five. And remember, you want those arms completely straight or you can go to your elbows but don't give me in between. Yes, two more. Let's finish this out, hold it here. 20, 19, 18. Five, four, three, two, hold, squeeze that weight in. Squeeze it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, and release. Woo, sit it back. So yeah, you can go on the laterals you can go to a side elbow, but have that front arm straight. You never wanna put all the weight in your arms. So sit back in that child's pose, stretch it out, extend the legs. Let's go ahead, put that weight in the other leg. All right, I'm gonna flip it around. Here we go. Hands once again, directly underneath your shoulders. Push up from the floor and let's work. Let's work it. Yes, you guys. I hope you're enjoying this workout. You could do it at home. You could do it in the gym, on vacation, anywhere you go. Work out with me. I'll keep you company. Or you could do it with your friends, family, as long as you're getting that booty workout. So depending on what you're trying to do for your butt, are you trying to tone? You trying to make it bigger? You know, I'm giving you so many different options. You can go heavier with your weights if you wanna get bigger. If not, you just do more reps. You have a lot you could do to make this the best booty ever. Good, let's get into that three, two, one right here. Three, two, one, release, good. Little, big, bigger. Little, big, bigger, yes. And having a nice butt, that's not what it's all about. You want a nice, strong butt to help you take pressure off your other muscles that surround it. Your knees can also take over and you don't want that. 
because maybe your thighs take over all your workouts. So you wanna watch that. Two more. Put all the energy into that booty. Last one. Let's pulse it up right here. Up, up. Tiny pulses, one inch, one inch. Burn, 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 let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold and release. Let's take it cross and open, cross, open. Still squeezing that weight. Hamstrings getting some burn. Your hamstring muscle, the one behind the thigh, is the one that uh, lifts your butt up nice and high. When people say, ooh, she has an apple bottom, yeah, this is it. Right here, eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and you also feel your obliques engage, which is also good. Right here, take it down. We have regular fire hydrants. Yes. Remember, if you feel the energy in the other leg, shift your body center. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now give me that three, two, one right here. Three, two, one, release. Three, two, one, yes. Eight more. You got it. Seven. Six. Five. Come on, we're doing this together. Four. Pull that belly in, support your back. Three. Two, last one, hold it there, pulse it, up, up, for 10, nine, remember you can go on the back out if you need to, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, squeeze that weight, this is the end, y'all, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, and release. Oh my gosh, take that weight out, sit back in a child's pose, you, did it way to work let's go ahead and stretch it out by bringing that front leg to a bent knee back leg is straight reach forward oh feels so good to stretch it oh my gosh great work now extend that leg out in front stretch out the hamstring and reach forward Good job, you guys. Go ahead and switch. Other leg, bend it. Other leg back. Good, bend the back leg, front one, and reach, hamstring stretch. Great work, go ahead, bend the knee, take it across, stretch out your back. Think about the great work you just did. And if you didn't finish it today, or you had to take a lot of breaks and pause that video, don't worry. Do it again next time. Challenge yourself each time to go a little harder and to finish. Great work. Go ahead, give me a deep inhale. Exhale. Way to go, you guys. My name is Nicole Steen, and this was your brutal butt workout. See you next time. If you like my videos, subscribe right here. Do it.